Hello and welcome, welcome back. This is Redemption Goddess and today we're covering Elizabeth Holmes. A woman of no color. Shout out to Cynthia G. This woman here. She's strange. I've been following this story since 2017. She's been able to avoid jail time. She swindled billions of dollars. She jeopardized people's health with her faulty innovation. She's weird because she began speaking deeply and imitating Steve Jobs. And she made it to TED Talks and some other places online. I can't even do the voice. I'm sorry. She really lowered her voice. I understand. I I lift my voice. Right? Because... I was to get to going off on you. I'm sure that my octaves would be lower too. But this woman purposely (laughs) imitated. (laughs) She imitated Steve Jobs. She got generals on her board with a lie. She never could make her thing do its thing. This blood test, this magical blood test that she had. Thanos. You go, girl. She tried. She, she, well, she did it. And, and she has a child now. So she's hoping that that child will shield her from... A harsh, pro- a harsh prosecution. She hoping that they don't Bernie, Bernie made off her ass. That's what she hoping. Her and her partner, because she had a dude with her. So listen. That old crabs in the barrel shit that you hear, right? When you are a scam and a fraud and a con artist and a liar and a thief and a person speaks, finds, investigates your ass, understand there's no hard feelings. Freedom of press, freedom of speech, here in America at least. So anyway, CNN Australia and finally picked this up because see her trial, you know, it's going on right now. It's ongoing. You can go follow it. I'll link a few things so you can go check the story out again. I heard this story many, many years ago and they were trying to track her down. That was like an Asian lady. Was she trying to tear this white woman, trying to tear this white woman down? trying to tear her down y'all I think I may be mistaken but anyway they caught her on a jog and they want to ask her some questions like hey what in the hell is wrong with you you done took billions of dollars Thanos this shit is just not you know you got whistleblowers now you got all type of folks now and what's going on are they trying to tear this white woman down Is this crabs in the barrel? No. It's called accountability. It don't matter who brings the accountability to you. Oh, I'm supposed to look the other way because you look like me? No. You a liar. You a thief. You a con artist. You double talking. You bullshitting. That's your ass. If people are on your ass, good. That's good for the community. 
That's good for society. That's good for humanity. People that are not afraid of evil. They're not afraid. It say, all y'all Bible thumpers, y'all swerping down. Y'all don't even believe the words. Y'all, y'all try to beat people over the head with the Bible that y'all don't even read. And don't even believe half of it in there. Apparently you don't. You don't do none of this stuff. This is why young folks don't even respect y'all. Y'all got us dragging us to church. <laughs> Doing all this stuff. Praying and hollering and screaming and lying and whatever, 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 whatever. Behind that Bible. Don't even believe it. It say, do not worry. Y'all always worrying. You don't even believe the words. You trying to beat me over the head with this Bible. Tell me to read it. I read it. I see what it say. I'm like, oh, this is cool. But you don't even, you run around here worrying and acting a fool over any little adversity. So you don't even believe the words that you sending me to church every day. <laughs> anyway, just, I done went somewhere else with this. Okay. Let's come on back to Elizabeth Holmes. Missy Doolittle. She didn't got billions of dollars. She have generals on her. <laughs> she got some folks on this one. <laughs> Look how crazy she looked too, y'all. <laughs> this, if this woman walked up to me, I would be so busy in an instant. And you got on all black, bitch. I don't know. <laughs> all black and you already skinny. You know, fat, you know, when you think you you put on some grays and blacks and dark browns and dark blues, you know, you trying to hide that thickness, right? But bitch, you are a piece of paper. Why do you have on all black? It's the blonde hair, them big ass eyes. Look, this was the weirdest. I was cracking up. I know people are mad because, you know, you have some people, they put a few hundred thousand in and, you know, you have, like you have one lady on there on this uh, Australia one that they just did a few days ago. And I'll link that in the description box. But she like, look, I didn't give a damn. I just wanted to make money. At least she was honest. (laughs) At least she was honest. White woman. She said, look, I didn't care. They, the buzz was on about this, and I put my money in there. And I lost my shit fucking with this bitch because her shit didn't work. You know, the product, the thing that she said she invented did not work. She ran a scheme. And uh, but when you put things into contrast and you think about the incident where the cops are chasing down this vehicle full of children and black folks and a uh, baby, a man on all this. And they are chasing them down about some shit from the dollar store. And they have guns drawn on them. Meanwhile, this woman has been on bond or whatever type of shit she got where well, she'd been outside. She done had a baby and everything. And, uh, she didn't stole billions of dollars. The babies had a di- a doll worth a few dollars from the dollar store. And they done up straps on them babies. This lady had a baby hoping to think that she gonna get some time off or whatever, whatever. Hoping that they don't do not Bernie made off her ass over this scheme she just ran. Because she put lives in danger because her shit did not work and they were lying about the results then she quit stanford y'all she was going to stanford imagine being having an opportunity to go to stanford and you don't graduate now everybody's talking about elon musk and um bill gates and all them quitting but you see later on that they get honorary degrees because they go through and they prove themselves There's so many people to get honorary degrees because they have proved themselves worthy to get that degree based on the work that they've done outside. So this woman fooled five star generals into investing into her 
imaginary shit that didn't work. She put lives in danger. And overall, you know, this whole entire situation is so crazy. I've been following it for a while, though. I've been on this story for a while. So 60 Minutes Australia picked it up. They did a story because she's back in court now. So we'll see. But you see the contrast. We have American police pulling guns on black people uh, accused of stealing some dollar store doll, right? Versus this woman here. She didn't she done stole billions of dollars. And she get to just live her life free on the money she stole. Okay? I don't want to say no catchphrase because people swear up and down they made shit up. There's nothing new under the sun. That's in Ecclesiastics if you want to go find that. There is nothing new under the sun. And I'm so... (laughs) I'm so baffled by the Bible folks. The people that swear up and down they're Christians and they going to church, they going to Bible study, they doing all this stuff. They the main folks... That will talk so foul to you. They want to. You want to quote scripture and cuss at me at the same time. That don't even make sense. How can you quote scripture and cuss at me at the same time? Anyway, we'll leave that for another day. This young lady, <laughs> Elizabeth Holmes. <laughs> yeah, she about to have a home in federal penitentiary which I heard that's like day camp or something for these little white collar crime folks meanwhile you'll damn near get killed over eight dollars you'll get killed over two three dollars out here in these streets we'll literally get killed over like some traffic shit (laughs) you would be dead over like just oh your brake light out it is no it ain't blah 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 and some more shit and some more shit people disrespecting each other that you just you you have to find your energy and apparently this woman found enough energy to get billions of dollars from folks lying so imagine if you was coming through telling the truth doing what you had to do showing and proving imagine what would be added to you You know a man by his fruit. And when we say his and man or whatever, uh, one man, man is still in one man. So please don't go crazy with the wording of that. But you know a person by their fruit. Right? You see a person that has beautiful cars, beautiful homes or whatever. That actually may be fruit, but that may be some more shit. (laughs) <laughs> and you may want to dig deeper into it or you may not but the things it's not the things it's the happiness the daily happiness depending on whatever situation a person is in that joy that peace that calm that's what you're looking for it's not the things necessarily that's not necessarily the fruit because that the joy of your soul the joy and the peace it's priceless. Your time is priceless. When you realize how 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 uh, valuable your time is, you'll, you'll understand where I'm coming from. And this is why I'm trying to create content and quick content. But sometimes I go over whatever. I try not to waste people's time though. But I am going to express myself. If you choose to use your time to listen to me, I thank you for that. I ask you to like and subscribe and all of that. But listen, deep down inside, I'm just expressing myself. I'm just, I'm just using, you know, this my God-given right. And if I'm wrong, I don't have a problem coming, apologizing, and saying that I'm wrong. I don't have a problem with accountability, you know. And going forward. I'm going to continue to create my content, whatever I want to create, whatever the hell I want to get on here and talk about. I want to get on here and uh, play preacher (laughs) and clown. I am 
you know. And uh, whatever else. Whatever else. Y'all might see my dogs on here. All types of little things. I'm just going to begin just documenting it. And more just really for my friends and family. They'll have something. They'll hear me. And the world gets to hear me. Look. I love you guys. Even if I don't know you, I can't touch you. But if you have good energy, baby, we pushing it out. Keep pushing it out. It really does work. You like repel evil. Like seriously, we got to learn how to take that energy and repel it to where it doesn't even ever cross our path, but also being prepared when it does. These fast talking slick people that try to trick you on about your money, hundreds of thousands of dollars at a time. And, you know, five or a hundred dollars. I don't care what dollars you lying and stealing and cheating. And that has no place. You know, that really has no place. Like it's plenty willing participants, plenty of willing participants. It's plenty of people that would have helped her to get her shit to work. You know, plenty of um, venture capitalist companies would have funded. Look at Amazon. Look at how long they went without making any money. 10 years, 12 years, no money. This woman chose to lie. And her sentences and whatever's going to come to her is going to come to her. You know, um, I'm pretty sure she got some good lawyers and she did some strategic stuff. She went out She went out there in this time frame between now and 2000. Or was it, all of this happened, what, 2017? So it's 2021 now. She's going to court for this now. She has a child. And her husband, boyfriend, whoever he is, he's in part in, in intertwined in this shit too. So this is some high profile shit, but you don't really hear about it, right? What you hear about is the whole situation with uh the, the cops chasing them that car down because a little girl stole the damn doll, right? That's the shit you hear about. Crazy, wild shit. Like, this is going on where the money transfer, but listen, look deeper into this. Look. Look deeper into this. Things get seized. Things get seized in this type of situation. This is why you need to be familiar with your federal and your local auctions you need to get familiar with that information and if you if you're a gentleman you want trying to get your girl a really really nice ring some really really nice jewelry these are nice little places to go and all them cars that y'all like and all that classic shit y'all like this is where you go first a Saturday a Wednesday. It might be a Wednesday or Tuesday. I don't know what you're going to do. Try to figure it out and make it happen. But this is how people come up on assets um, at half the price. You know, at the baller level, people just going, and even them, they don't do that. They, they don't do the things that you think they do. Trust and believe. And just think about these celebrities and the clothes. A lot of the clothes and things like that, these designers give them clothes to wear to help them sell and promote them clothes. These people have not even paid for this clothes and jewelry and stuff. So just like when they go and buy the jewelry, they may have bought a piece, but this jewelry or this designer jewelry person, they're going to give them pieces to showcase, to entice you out of money that you don't have. That's the purpose. You got to get that in your head, honey. You got to get that in your... Don't nobody pay for a price. Oh, please. Don't nobody pay for a price. Don't nobody with a good thinking mind pay for a price for shit. You just don't. You work with what you have. And you and you try to make it happen. Don't nobody care if you clown. Or don't nobody care about none of that shit. Really. When you look at the successful people... They grinding. They not even nowhere to be seen because they somewhere reading and grinding and learning and excelling. And even if they're 
learning something on hands on they're somewhere hands on you know doing the thing they're somewhere doing the thing this young lady should have never quit Stanford she should have completed her courses she was on to something but she fucked it she fucked it up you know she fucked it up and she had a team she had money but she didn't know how to say all the way down to who she was as a person was a lie she done molded herself into Steve Jobs a dude and then started lowering her voice trying to talk low oh my god so baby you needed therapy you know, that woman could have went and got therapy and came out and still created this thing that she wanted to, because it's still not out here. There's still no rapid tests or whatever. The thing that she was trying to test is still not here. So it's still potential for her to create it. But no, that was too much like, right. She was so hit, just all this broad had to oh just just young woman all this young woman had to do was go her behind and complete the damn classes that's it complete it complete the thing i read mia Farrow book i got that book for like 80 cent it was just a book i was like i'm gonna buy this book just because i'm bored and i have something to read it was a huge book i'm no one's gonna entertain me for some time I didn't know it was the whole story with her and Woody Allen. I didn't know that's, that was a damn book, right? But uh, Lordy B. That book, at that book, I decided, you know, that I was going to finish any book, anything I ever started, any book, even if it was boring, even if I didn't like it, I'm still going to finish it. I'm not going to stop and leave it uncompleted. And at that moment my thinking changed so this young lady needed to complete her studies and her shit probably could have came true but no that's too much like right and many people many of us do this shit anyway like share subscribe and thank you so much for listening